All right, guys, welcome back to another video where today we'll be looking at a nifty little tip just to make these sponge filters run a little bit smoother using a Zis no block air stone. All right, so as many of you know, I utilize a central air system in, in my fish room. I've currently got about 12 tanks all running off this one pump, and I got a lot of my sponge filters on the cheap from Amazon. Some of these sponge filters work absolutely awesome, and the bubbles are really, really fine, and some of them just, just don't. So if you're new to the channel, in the fish room, we've got breeding groups and grow-outs of African cichlids, so... If you like African cichlids, you like the colour of that beautiful little male it there. Make sure you follow along, hit subscribe underneath this video now so you don't miss any more future content. If you're wondering about the Loanda that I did a video on a few weeks back, the group's doing really, really good, male's looking good. But today, we're looking at the difference in some of the sponge filters. As you can see, the two on the ends of the 55 right now are working really, really good. Bubbles are nice and fine, but this one's not. I've turned the air up, turned it down. Nothing seems to be working. So that is where this little thing is going to come in handy. So all we're going to do is take the sponge filter off its casing. And then eventually we're going to have this air stone right in the middle of there. But first we need to do a little bit of tweaking to make it work. So we're just going to take this Stanley knife and cut some of the main portion of the plastic that was sticking through. Once we've done that, we should be able to fit the air stone, the airline tubing into the filter, which will then make the bubbles a lot finer and hopefully it'll get this sponge filter working a little better. Another positive to using these Zis air stones is that they don't block. You could do this little trick with a normal air stone, but as I'm sure many hobbyists know, those block up pretty good, whereas these don't. Lastly, the other reason why I'm doing it is because it will make the fish room a little bit quieter. And as you can see, the new air stone in the filter has changed it completely and it's looking way better. So let's take a closer look. This is a sponge filter that I've just added the Zis air stone into. And as you can see, it's working way better now. The bubbles are way finer. It's creating a little bit more surface agitation at the top of the water. And it's also way quieter before I were getting that clunking noise because the bubbles were so big. This is a sponge filter on the right side of the tank that I don't have any issues with currently. The only issue is that the bubbles aren't quite as fine and it is creating a lot more noise than the other one that we've just changed. So the thing that we're gonna do in the new year is switch these sponge filters out and add the Zis no block air stones into every single one. So there you go guys, just a little tip from me. If you've got a fish room and if you run sponge filters, think about using this. It really, really does help and I can't wait to almost silence the fish room with the addition of these air stones in the sponge filters. Like I said, at the start of the video, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. Plenty more content coming soon. Plenty of tanks to show you, including that African cichlid tank and this planter tank. So let me know if you found this video useful in the comments section below. Leave this video a like if you've watched it until the end. Likes really, really do help the channel grow. And my aim for this year is to now get to 10k after hitting the 5k mark. So I would appreciate it if you could like and share and do all that good stuff that will get this video out there. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.